intimacy with God. You are going to be so connected to God in love. And I'm believing God with you that this shall be the year, the best year of your life. I know you've said Happy New Year many years. And it's as though nothing changes. But this one is different. 2024. Forget all the prophecies of doom. For those who love the Lord, while it's going darker for the world, it will be brighter for the church. The darker their night, the brighter our night. Benizar 2024 with the theme signs and wonders what an amazing moment spent in the presence of God what a wonderful time we have experienced in God's presence since Tuesday it has been heaven on earth here at the International Worship Center of Omega Five Ministries with the Restoration Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman and also don't forget that we had an amazing man of God who was excellent in the word who brought the word of god fresh from heaven and it was an amazing moment that's no other person than uh, reverend dr chidi okorafo who um, was very very intentional in his words when he was telling us about signs and wonders and you know um, right here at the uh, omega Five Ministries, so many people came from different parts of the world to experience the wonders of god in this period where we are also celebrating the 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministries. And one thing that I can never forget was when the Restoration Apostle uh, was emphatic and he, he said that God said to him that throughout this program that he is going to be sitting. <laughs> I love that word. He's going to be sitting on this auditorium and it's going to be excellent. And the Restoration Apostle said, that God told him for sure that any per anyone that came here, both those that are here and those that connect to this um, uh, meeting, they are going to get answers to their prayers because God is giving us as a, as an anniversary gift, wonders, signs and wonders in every ramification of our life, and it's so wonderful. Now, the Restoration Apostle started it. It, it was a hot session with the Restoration Apostle. Johnson Suleiman and he was teaching us about signs and wonders and these were the words that the man of God brought to us about signs and wonders watch this do you know you can pass through the ministry of a man of God without his ministry passing through you tonight Make up your mind. Will you be Elisha or Gehazi? Elisha passed through the ministry of Elijah. Even the test of his master Elijah could not stop him. He was determined because he knew what he was going for. And at the end of the day, he got double portion of the spirit that was upon Elijah. He had a servant called Gehazi. Gehazi potentially was to have two times Elisha, which is four times Elijah. He was to have two times Elisha, which was four times Elijah. But he passed through the ministry of Elisha without the ministry passing through him. But at the end of the day, he was dismissed with leprosy. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Not the apostles, not the prophets, not the bishops and archbishops. It shall follow who? 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 Them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. Please help me ask your neighbor. Does your village demons recognize you? You can't be a part-time Christian facing a full-time devil. It's not possible. 
If you don't mind, stand up and ask your neighbor, does your village demon recognize you, please? Signs and wonders are the seal of God's approval. When God approves a person or a thing or anything God has his finger behind, it is proven by signs and wonders. Chapter 2 and verse 22, Jesus, a man approved of God amongst you by the many signs and wonders and miracles, which, so signs and wonders are a proof of God's approval. Egypt was a place of, a place of intelligence. When you think about it, pleasure to be here and, you know, uh, it's wonderful to be in a father's house, you know. It looks like it's your first time. It's my first time and it will not be the last time. You know, I have had a, such a wonderful time here. It's been a great journey. You know, being in this place is like, you know, a piece of heaven. You know, this place has, you know, enlightened me, you know, with so much fire for prayer. This, I can recognize Omega Fires Ministry as the city that does not sleep. Mm. Prayer is going at 24-7 and that is something that I'm taking home. Yeah, we are about entering the final session. So what is your expectation for this last session? I know you came with a lot. So what are you, um, w what is that thing that you're waiting for God to do specifically? We want God to in, in, in put us that fire to carry to our nation, to transform the nation. Whatever is happening in Auchi needs to happen in every nation. So I came here to contact fire. And more than anything, to, you know, to thank God for our mother and our father. You know, 20 years has been such an amazing journey. And there's more to come. You know, we thank God for this 20 years. And we thank God for the preservation of our mother and our father. And we thank God for the many years to come. Okay. So you are pastoring in South America. So can you tell us briefly about the, the impact of Omega Fire Ministries in South America? You know, South America is a place where there's a lot of need for God, you know, and people have now encountered the grace this past uh, crusade that we did, and they had a wonderful, wonderful time. You know, the Bible says that when, when, when Philip went to a city, rejoice came to the city. Mm -hmm. So people in Mexico are now rejoicing because the men of God step into with the grace of God and with the power of God. Miracles happen, and that's what people, people need. They need the power of God, the love of God, and that is what our Father carries. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so the man of God was explaining how the Restoration Apostle and Omega Fire Ministries has really impacted the world and right up to where he's pastoring in South America, Mexico precisely. And it's wonderful what God is doing in the lives of all these people through the life and ministry of Apostle Johnson and Dr. Liz Suleiman. We are going to get another um, man of God now again uh, who is going to tell us about how um, he has really enjoyed this program um, that is Ebenezer 2024. Can we meet you, sir? Praise God. My name is Pastor Rich, lead pastor of Houston, Texas. Okay. Pastor Rich, um, I know it's not your first time to experience such a moment, but just tell us uh, about how, how, you are, com how you comprehend the 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministries and what, what is in your heart as uh, um, and uh, as a result of what God is doing through the life and ministry of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Well, praise God. I want to first of all thank God for my father and my mother and wish them a very, very wonderful, happy anniversary and all Omega children, uh, fire ministry worldwide. Happy anniversary to you. You know, 20 years, it's amazing. Any anniversary is amazing, but when an anniversary has a zero next to it, like we have a 20 anniversary, uh, it's... Um, it's one that uh, we take a moment, uh, you know, to look back and see how far God has brought us. You know, we're not where we want to be yet, but thank God Almighty, we're not where we used to be. Omega Fire Ministry is an amazing, uh, the, the grace upon, upon the commission is tangible. When you see the kind of um, impact the man of God has made in just 20 years, you name it, any part of the globe, we have a footprint. You see the crusades of the man of God, crowds, stadiums, people are coming from all walks of life, you see, and that is just in 20 years. So 
uh, the impact of our ministry, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the work that God has given our Father is becoming more evident on the global stage. And, you know, we're seeing great minds coming to reckon with that grace. And we just know that the best is yet to come. We're so thankful to God for our Father, His resilience, you know, uh, in preaching the gospel. And we thank God for our mother, you know, uh, just such a formidable force standing with our Father. Praise God. Thank you so much for sharing your, those wonderful words with us. We have another man of God here. Uh, can we meet you, sir? Yes. I'm Chris from Mekpuma 5, okay. OFM. So it's nice being around, and it's so amazing seeing what God is doing right here. I'm so excited. I'm celebrating the grace of God upon my father, upon my mother. It's not an easy task. 20 years is not 20 days. It's not 20 weeks. To God be the glory, and I love to be here. Being here, the mind-blowing testimonies, the words that are coming out—they are raw. You know, you know. It's, here is no way one can just come and just be casual, just be spiritual. It's a spiritual ground. We thank God for the grace of God that is upon this commission, and uh, we pray that more of these, more of these mind-blowing testimonies around the world, the global impact. You know, the lives that have been blessed. We thank God for it, and uh, we pray for more, of more testimonies upon our life, upon the life of our parents. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, man of God. God bless you. And uh, we are so excited about hearing all these testimonies from um, all around the world, pastors that are coming from out of Africa, out of, uh, uh, and from every, from far and near. We're going to hear from another wonderful oh, man of God. You, 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 you will be very excited. We, we have with us uh, Reverend Dr. Fidelis I am over. Thanks for, sir, thanks for coming, sir. Thank you for having me. So, sir, uh, this is the 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministries. I want, us to, I, I want you to share with us about a personal experience of how Omega Fire Ministries has touched your life as a person, even before being a man of God. Yeah, by the grace of God, being privileged to be around this locality, uh, hey, it will interest you to note that I did my primary school here, secondary school, part of my secondary school, part of my higher institution, got married here by the tutelage and the counsel of our father, and today I'm fulfilling destiny, right, with this commission as a base. So speaking, I can tell you vividly, Papa as a person has been a book that I've constantly read. Like I say, my wife and I will always say, he has been our channel to divinity and has produced for us. You know, one of the things a lot of people don't understand, you must understand the man that carries your access code. And every time he's angry with you, you experience a shot. And when he's smiling, you experience a boom. So he's been there these 20 years. I remember vividly the days when I were to contest for student unionism. Then Omega just began as a fellowship in the council hall then. Before then, the council session. I met him and he said to me, go. He didn't speak too much words. And I ran with that word. I came out late, but I became the latest. Because a prophecy prepared me. Yes. And I know vividly, since I left my national youth service, in 2005 or 4, immediately I walked into the work. I've never had to submit my CV as an engineer. I've always been committed to the course of the ministry. And progressively, what I practice in business, in consulting, in ministry, I learned from him. Like today, this morning, when he was ministering, this uh, last day morning, as in he practically was touching into sensitive matters and I whispered to my senior one, Reverend Dr. Uh, Dr. Kinsley, and I said to him, the truth of the issue is, in any side of life Papa had choose to be, he would never have been a failure. So 20 years, like the man of God said, and Papa confirmed through Mama also, that we are just taking off. The world should wait for that which is about to be unveiled. Wow, we are just taking off. It's exciting. Thank you so much, the, Dr. You. Fidelis. Thank you so much for that experience. You know, uh, the man of God was talking about how Omega Fire Ministries and the life of Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman 
were, were really a blessing to him and it's wonderful how you know we see all these men of god testifying of how the transformation has gone from just their person to also to uh, um, uh, their ministries and it's exciting what uh, um, is, is happening here all, all right um, like the, 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 the man of God wants to talk to us more about something yes I want to say this that Omega Fire Ministry is an outburst outpour outshoot of the personality of our father and mother in the Lord so we are not struggling mm. to conquer to win to move to spread because we are not we are not borrowing it as it were is direct is an expression of a man's personal encounter with God which is his lifestyle that is transformed loyalty royalty the anointing obedience practicing God's word in detail thus say it we move and it's been working for us so I am too certain that the next phase is a face to behold to i long for after on sunday when we're not that's we are moving into 21 which is the third deck so it's going to be glorious thank you so much sir god bless you so wow you know i i, I just remember why the man of god was talking i just remembered how our father in the lord apostle johnson suleiman made mention of the fact that our mother during uh, the ministration of dr chidi okora for touched him and said we are just starting it's just the beginning something is about to shoot we're about to enter the next phase and uh, it's been wonderful having all these great men share their experiences and we thank god for what he's doing in the life and ministry of apostle johnson and dr lizzie suleiman and uh, don't forget we are ushering you to another phase on sunday we are coming live for the zenith it's going to be the apex our mother, we are celebrating our mother, and also we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministries proper. And uh, I will leave you with this video of how the man of God ministered in the prophetic. God bless you, and keep watching, because we are already in the service. Take care of them, take care of them. Bring them, bring them, bring them. I want to pray for them. Bring them to me. There are ancient doors that are opening. I'm coming in the name of the Lord and I'm speaking to you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Now, I command you, be ye lifted ye everlasting doors that the King of glory, that the King of glory, that the King of glory, who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord strong and mighty. Get out of her. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord strong and mighty. Come out of him. Get out of her. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. From the choir. To the pew. To the pastor stand. Every spirit. Every demon. Unclean spirit. Down to the international delegate. Unclean spirits in the synagogue. Unclean spirits in the temple. I command you, devil of late marriage, devil of barrenness, from it is here, from it are so okay. Lose my sister. I identify you. You are a familiar spirit. I recognize you. Edge of breakthrough. Spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough. Uh -huh. Deposit of the water world. Catch him. Catch that boy. Catch him. That's the water spirit coming out. Come out of him. Get out. Every marine spirit, marine spirit, marine deposits, hey. spirit of delay, 
Spirit of delay. Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up, somebody up. Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up. Somebody up. Spirit of delay. Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up. Spirit of delay. 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 This is just a, you get a prophetic word concerning a woman that came blind. Lift up your hands. To worship you, O oh Lord. Can you tell that to the Lord today? Forever you will be. The Lamb upon the throne. Just sing it to him. I gladly bow my knees to worship you, O Lord. Sing it to him one more time. Forever you will be. Say thank you, Jesus. Mm, the Lamb upon the throne No one like you, Jesus I gladly bow my knee To thank you, Jesus To, to worship you, alone. Abba, this evening, Lord, we thank you for your grace. Thank you for the mercy, Lord. Thank you for the kindness. Thank you for the greatness of your power. Thank you, Jesus, for this life. This evening, Lord, we came to say we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus, for this 20 years. Thank you, Jesus. For the life of our father, for the life of our, our mother. Thank you, Jesus, for this Ebenezer. Thank you for life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing grace. Thank you, Jesus. The Lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knee to worship you, O Lord. Forever you will be. You are the Lamb. The Lamb upon the throne I gladly bow my knee I gladly bow my knees To worship you alone Keep your hands to Jesus this evening Come on, church, you can do better. Give it to Jesus. I want to I wanna take this time to thank God for the life of our father, the life of our mother, Apostle and Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. 
I want us to pray this evening in thankfulness to God for this 20 years of hard labor. 20 years of victory. 20 years of pain and suffering. But above everything else, victory in the house. 20 years seems easy. But 20 years is even better when God is in this place. And I tell you, the moment I step into this place, I knew God was in this place. So I want us to pray and thank Jesus this evening for 20 years. 20 years of grace. 20 years of miracles. 20 years of salvation. 20 years of harvest. Is anyone here this evening? Lift up your hand wherever you are and say with me, Lord, thank you for this 20 years. Thank you, Lord, for this 20 years of grace. Thank you, Lord, for this 20 years of preservation. Thank you, Lord, for this 20 years of salvation. Thank you, Lord, for this 20 years of power. Thank you, Lord. Open up your mouth and start praying. Sapapata le frekes, libra copata le gesta, bracapata le cataya, si braso to costa, bracapata le cata, libra zata caita, brasete gesta, bracapata le cataya, se procosta le cataya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for twenty years. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this 20th anniversary. Thank you, Jesus. Sakapata le kataya. Libra soto kosta. Brakapata le kataya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sakapata le kataya. Libra soto kosta. Brakapata le kata. Libra soto kosta. Brakapata le kata. Thank you, Lord, for 20 years. Thank you, Lord. Sakapata le kataya. Libra soto kosta. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to take this moment to thank God. For the privilege it is for me to pray in this altar. This altar is it's another dimension. The moment you step into this altar, you just you travel into another dimension. So it is a privilege to be in this house. But it's more a privilege to be under the grace of our Father. To be under the grace of our, of our mother. I want us to pray and thank God for their life. I want us to pray and thank God for the preservation of their life. For the strength he has given them. I want us to pray and say thank you Jesus for our father. Thank you Jesus for our mother. Lord preserve them. Lord give them more strength. Lord give them more grace. Lord thank you for our father. Thank you for our mother. Wherever you are rise up your hand and say with me my father my father. My father my father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For our father and our mother. Lord, give them more grace. Lord, give them more power. Lord, give them a longevity of days. As you start praying, lift up your voice and start praying. Shakapata lekata, libra sotokosa. Lord, thank you for our mother. Lord, preserve them. Lord, increase them. Lord, give them more days. Lord, give them more. Give them more. Sapata pata pata, libra soto kosta, braka pata le kataya, libra soto kosta, braka pata le kato, libra soto kosta. Lord, thank you for our father. Lord, thank you for our mother. Sapra ko pata la, brisa to kosta, braka pata le kataya, libra soto kosta, brake de 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 brake Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our mother. 
thank you for our Father. Lord, preserve them. Lord, increase them. Lord, give them our grace. Libra soto kosa, braka pata leka taya. Libra soto kosa, braka pata leka ta. Libra soto kosa, breke bede 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I said in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It is 20 years of victory. 20 years where God has preserved each and every one that has been here. We thank God for that. Open up your Bibles. Wherever you are. John chapter 14. John 14. And if you can put it up on the screen, it's even better. John chapter 14, John 14. verse 4, the verse Bible 4. says that Jesus came to his disciples and told them, and whither I ye know in the way ye know. Thomas asked, where are you going? Where are you going? And how can we know the way if we don't know where you're going? Jesus replies and says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by me. Then verse 7 says, If ye have known me, Ye would have known my father. If ye have known me, you would have also known my father. And from henceforth, ye know him. I want us to pray. Father, as I know you, help me to know the father. As I know you, Jesus, help me to know the Father. As I carry myself into you, help me to know the Father. Are you ready to pray this evening? Are you ready to pray this evening? Or should, I, should we pray in Spanish? Jesus! Help me to know the Father as I pray. Help me to know the Father. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your right hand of fire and shout with me. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. As I pray. Help me to know the Father. As I pray. Help me to know the Father. Open up your mouth and start praying. Sapata para pata 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 pata. Libra soto costa. Braca pata le cataya. Libra soto costa. Braca pata le cataya. Libra soto costa. Braca pata le cataya. Sepre questa. In the name of Jesus. You are the mighty God, and I top with you. You are the glorious God. Please, if you are still sitting down, be up on your face. Can you walk on the echo on this mic, please? Allah, Bara. You are the mighty God. You are the glorious God. Allah, you are the mighty God. You 
You are the glorious God. Everybody, let me hear you. Alabara. Can you lift up your hands to the Lord? Let's worship him. You are the glorious God. Worship him. I said, lift up your hands. You are worshiping the King of Glory. I want to see your hands. your hands as a sign of surrender I see many of you you get so tired you bring your hand down it's a sign of surrender I always love to love to say lift up your hands to the Lord so when we say lift up your hands as a sign of surrender you are worshiping your Creator without any distraction without any distraction you need to be focused now lift up your hands just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. I worship. Odogu I worship. I worship Odogu Weriaja. Yeah, I worship Diriaku Digwe. I worship Odogu Weriaja. I worship Diriaku Digwe. I worship. I worship. Everybody, let me hear you worship. Yeah, we worship you. I worship. 
to your father call him beautiful names call him wonderful names we exalt you Jesus we magnify your name we exalt you Jesus great almighty God that's who you are I want you to just help me take the song
worship you. We exalt your name, Jesus. Hey! My daddy, my daddy! Your baby is singing. Kai, I will be singing in this and enchanting the rest of the Ah. Ah. Let me hear your voice. In, in dancing. My daddy, my daddy. My daddy, my daddy. Your baby is singing, oh. Baby is singing. Ay, 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 ay. I will be singing and dancing and chanting for the rest of eternity. My daddy, my daddy. My God, good day. 
Do I have witness? Do I have witness? Can you wave those hankers? Wave those hankers. Wave those hankers. If you know Jesus has been too good to us for the past 20 years, I said, wave those hankers. Hey! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! My God is good. Eh? My God is good. Eh? We are at the presence. My God is good. I said, My God is good. Come on. My God is good. I said, My God is good. Say, Your God is good. He gets in one time more for my life. He will say, I don't get them. Food, oh. I don't get it, money, no food to eat, oh. no place to go. I come to my God, oh. He gonna stop my prayer. He gonna put out my bread, put out my bread. You got my tea. Now I don't get the money. Now I don't get the motto. I don't they go better place. I don't they see better things. Hey, I come to celebrate. I begin to believe. I come to celebrate. I begin to believe. Hey.
de Rio Barriga, gá, gá, gá. Bonde de Rio Barriga, fé, 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 fé. Ajuda! Bonde de Rio Barriga, gá, gá, gá. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Give me joy to the give me praise, oh. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up. Everybody, put your hands. Hallelujah. Now, if you have come to seek the face of God, I would like you to be on your feet. Let's worship the Holy Ghost. The more you know him, the more you want to know him. The more you seek him, the more you want to seek him. Please be on your feet. You can worship in tongues. Be on your feet. Let's worship the Holy Ghost.
Hallelujah. If you know that in Ebenezer 2024, you have been redeemed, you have been restored, you have been delivered. Can you jump on your feet? Give the Lord the ladder shot of praise. Come on, come on, come on. If you know tonight is your night, you know tonight the first miracle will be your own. You cannot be sitting down. Can you jump on your feet? Give the Lord a ladder shout of praise. We are going to make a prophetic decree. Place your hand on your chest and say no limits in my life. Say no limits in my ministry. That is what we are going to prophesy now. My life is a miracle. Yes, I believe. No limits. No boundaries. My life is a miracle. Yes, I believe. No limits. No boundaries. Do you believe it? One more time, say no limits, no boundaries. One more time, say no limits, no boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Say, I know, I know you have many words, many questions right inside. Many questions right inside. Family and friends. Yeah, when you feel, when you feel the hope is gone, just the grief, my life is a miracle. Yes, I believe. No limits, no boundaries. My life is a miracle. Yes, I believe.
Yes, I believe. Oh, yeah. No limits. No. If you believe it, press the voice and sing it. My life is a miracle. Yes, I believe. No limits. No limits. No boundaries. No matter the challenge, can you sing it now? My life is a miracle. Bless your hand on your chest and sing it. Yes, I believe. No limits. No Bible said in Ezekiel 36, 26, he said, I will give them a new heart and I will put a new spirit within them. Father, we have come to the holies of holies. Father, this is where we behold your face and we receive a full impartation of your nature and character. We don't just dwell because of what we can grab. We love him, we dwell with him because his love is sweet. There is nothing sweeter than the love of Christ. Lift up your hands. Oh Jesus. To do. Just for your love, 
and fall into the sea. I'll keep coming. Just for your love and for intimacy, I'll keep chasing. Just for your love and for intimacy, I'll keep dreading. I will keep on dwelling. I will keep on dwelling. Just for your love. Just for your love. I will keep on dwelling. I will keep on dwelling. Just for your love. Just for your love. Just to see your face and to know you, I'll keep telling. Oh, in the secret place where my love is, forever I will be. Yes, now I am the bride. And Jesus sees my good forever near you. Ooh. I'll keep on dwelling. I'll keep on dwelling. Just for your love. Yeah, just for your love. I will keep on dwelling in the secret. Just for your love, just for the love that I have for you. We shall not be copied by you. She will not be copied by you. I Everything else can go. I hold on to this love. Everything else can wait. I hold on to this. Everything else can. I hold on to this love. Everything else can wait. I hold on to this. I will keep on dwelling in the secret place. Nothing can stop me, Lord. Just for your love. Just for the love that I have. I want to see this song right now. Open up your mind, sing. Just for your love. Just for love. Sing now. I will keep on dwelling. I will keep on dwelling. Just for your love. Just fire. Hallelujah. God bless. Shout, can you shout? Make some noise. It's 20 years. Get out an offering. Can you rise to your feet? There's a miracle on your way. Can you rise to your feet? You will look at your right and left. If somebody is not holding an offering, make sure you give that person. Do that fast. Everybody stand. There's a miracle coming. Stand to your feet, everybody. Let's honor Jesus with our substance. Stand up for Jesus. Can you lift up your offerings? 
Thank you, Father. Say so with this offering, I take my possession. With this offering tonight, I receive a miracle. Thank you, Father. The offering is blessed. Your hands are blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. If you are ready to give God some praise, make a joyful noise to God tonight. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Come on, tell your neighbor, neighbor, give me praise. Me, I want to dance. Me, I want to praise my God. Hey, neighbor, 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 give me space. Give me space. Hey, neighbor, 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 neighbor. Somebody give the Lord a shout. You deserve my accolade, oh.
Joy Chidebere is from Imo State, Nigeria, an HND holder in chemistry and biochemistry who graduated from the prestigious Federal Polytechnic. K Praise with the birth name Asunye Joy Chidebere is from Imo State, Nigeria, an HND holder in chemistry and biochemistry who graduated from the prestigious Federal Polytechnic Aochi at those State, Nigeria. J. Praise is one out of four children in the family of six. She is a songwriter and has written several songs to the glory of God, like Awesome God, The Spirit Man, Jehovah Amaka, and Fellowship. In the field of doing the Lord's work, she backed the award of the j Rock Song of the Year at the Jubilee Music and Arts Festival organized by the Omega Ministries International Talents and Arts. She is a privileged daughter of Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman. To be a blessing to us, make welcome on stage, Minister J. Praise. <laughs>
the most big way and I see hallelujah and I see hallelujah Jehovah oh Mary oh oh Mary oh the most big way and I see hallelujah shine Hana she hallelujah Jehovah Mary ha send the most believe Hana she hallelujah Hana she hallelujah Jehovah Mary oh Mary in the most believe I shall I 
has done it again and again and again. If you know and you know you will see a Benizah 2025. Stand on your feet and give the Lord a shout of praise.
Are we excited today? How many people are ready tonight for the Lord? Let's lift our hands toward heaven and just pray in the Holy Ghost for a couple of minutes. Pray in the Spirit. Build up yourself in your most holy faith. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. I can't hear you pray. I can't hear you pray. 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 Go ahead and pray. Go ahead. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand toward heaven. You are the bomb of Gilead you are the rush you are my peace in the midst of the storm you are the air I breathe oh Lord you are, you are the air I breathe, oh love. You are the balm You are the rose of shine. You are my peace in the midst of the storm. You are the air I breathe. 
Oh Lord, you are you are the air I breathe. You are the air I breathe. Oh Lord, you are Jesus. I breathe. Oh Lord. You are the air I breathe. You are. You are the air I breathe. Jesus. Father, throw your weight around tonight and do what you alone can do. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me hear that amen like thunder. I said, let me hear that amen like thunder. Be seated. God bless you. Exodus 13, 21 and 22. Exodus 13, 21 and 22. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them by the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night verse 22 he took not away the pillar of cloud by day. He took not. Nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. When the pillars are with you. When the pillars are with you. When the pillars are with you. God knows the wickedness of this world. God knows the brutal wickedness of, of, of this world. And he has not left us without a witness. God knows that we are in a generation where evil is being multiplied and error is orchestrated. We are in a, a generation when black is called white and white is called black. We are in a generation that celebrates wickedness. We are in a generation where, as it were, the wickedness of the devil is almost gaining the upper hand right before the eyes of the sun. So God is too loving to leave us empty. God is too loving to leave us stranded. I studied my Bible. The Bible says in Acts chapter 12 that Herod stretched his hand to vex setting of the church. And he killed James with the sword. And when he saw he pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Ladies and gentlemen, they may have taken James, but Peter is not James. They may have consumed James, but Peter is not James. I am not James. What do James cannot take me? What stop James cannot stop me? What in that James cannot hinder me? And if you study your Bible very well, in Acts chapter 12 and verse 6, the Bible says, and he had in prison, Peter was sleeping. Sir, 16 soldiers was put round a man, caught an on, and Peter was sleeping. I preached that for many years. Until the Lord told me, he said, son, have you decided to study why Peter was sleeping? Because, sir, if you know you are about to be killed the next day, you can't sleep. Nobody's following me. If you know that in the morning there's a death sentence, the next day was going to be Easter, that you'll be killed, you cannot sleep. Why could Peter sleep in the midst if, if I... Peter so slept that the angel had to slap him to wake up. The angel hit normally if you check revelations when light shine eyes are open. Peter was sleeping deep. 
like there was no problem. Why was Peter sleeping? I began to study and I studied John chapter 21 and verse 18. The Lord took me to John 21. The Holy Ghost said, God, Jesus was speaking to Peter. Yeah. He said, Verily I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou guidest thyself and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, when thou shalt be old, he said, Peter, when you will be old, another person will begin to lead you. So Peter knew that. Jesus had promised him old age. He can't die in prison. When thou shalt be out. So plan what you want to plan. I will sleep. Because when I was with the master. He told me when I shall be old. He told me I can't die young. When thou shalt be out. Hear me child of God. Your old age is guaranteed. This current battle can't take you. Your old is guaranteed. This present predicament can't take you. Your old age is guaranteed. The onslaught of hell can't consume you. Your old age is guaranteed. You can't be taken by wickedness. When thou shalt be Peter remember that. So Peter slept. He said, I walked with the, with the Elohim. His words never fail. He has said, when I shall be old, I'm young. I did a study when Peter, Peter died at 67. When Peter was arrested, he was 34. No, he was 40, 48. 34 was when the Lord called him. 47 was. So he was 30, 48 when that happened to him. So Jesus had promised him old age. And he knew at that age he was still young. So Peter could, the problem why you are not at rest is because you don't know the promises of God. You know, I read something one day. And I was preaching. Jesus said to the wind, peace, be still. The Lord said, no, you are wrong. Ah. Sometimes when I'm flying, I just have communion with the Holy Spirit. And he begins to correct me. He said, take your pen and your paper. There's something you preach that's not correct. Write it. I said, he spoke to the wind, peace, be still. He said, no, go back there. Ah. And I checked Mark 4.39. Peace, comma, be still. He said, I was talking to two things. I was talking to both the people and the storm. You, peace, storm, be still. So until you are at peace, your storm will not cease. Oh, nobody's following what I'm saying right now. He said, be you, peace. Then told the storm, be still. That is why when they were face to face in the midst of battle, when Moses was afraid, they turned to Moses, Pastor Moses, what do we God says, stand what? Tell them to move forward. But before them, hold your peace. The reason God is not working is because your mind is working. The reason heaven is not working is because your emotions are working. Peace be still. Peace be still. Because God is at work. Peace be still. Heaven has decided to favor you. Peace be still. Heaven has smiled on you. Peace. The story of the children of Israel walking out of Egypt into the wilderness is a characterized story of our leaving the world on our way to heaven. It's a prototype. It's, it's actually a direct analogy of you leaving the world from your taskmaster. Sin was your taskmaster. Leaving the world now to the Lord. So now... We are passing through the wilderness of this life on our way to Canaan. So it is, it is, it is, it is a risk to be pillarless. A pillar is, is wired to hold, to support. A pillar is wired to support. He said he gave them a pillar of fire and a pillar of cloud. I'm coming. Watch this. If you study your Bible, Solomon one day disgraced his father in public. His father. Hiram was a king of Tyre and, and Sidon. Came and met Solomon. Solomon said, Hiram was a lover of David. He was nice to David. He was a good man. He supported David. So he met Solomon. Solomon said, hold on, sir. First Kings chapter 5. If you read from verse 1, 2, 3 down. He said, you know my father could not build a house. Because of the many wars. 
There's a book I'm putting together. It's called The 21 Walls of, of David. When the Lord began to open my eyes to see the walls of David, sir, it was not the walls of the Philistines. It was not the walls of the Amalekites. It was not the walls. These were the walls that David grew up with. These were the walls that were after David's life. The first war of David was the war of rejection. Sir, do you know when Samuel came to Jesse, he said, is there any of the house to be favored? J Jesse brought Shama. He brought Abinadab. But he didn't bring David. But sir, when it's time to send Aaron, it is David. When it is time to say, go and check your brothers, it is David. When it's time to say, uh, go and take off the ship, it was so bad that he left him at the mercy of a lion. He left him at the mercy of a bear. A 16-year-old boy fighting lions, fighting bear. There are some of you here, when it is time for problem, it's you they remember. When it is time for issue, it's you they remember. When it's time for crisis, it's you they remember. But when it is time for help, nobody calls your name. It is a war of rejection. Anytime there is a crisis, it's you they call. But when it's time to be favored, they don't remember you. It is a war. Paratakataya, the war of David. Rejection. Do you know that rejection was so much in the life of David? That even when he came to confront Goliath, Saul told him, you cannot do it. Do you know what this is? When people look you in the eyes and tell you, you cannot do it. Oh, that is even too far. His own brother in the midst of war, say, I know the naughtiness of your heart. Why are you here? David battled with rejection. There are some of you, your own family does not believe in you. Your own wife does not believe in you. Your colleagues do not believe in you. Because you are going through the battle of rejection. Listen to me, child of God. God loves you and that's what matters. God loves you and that's what matters. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. It doesn't matter who doesn't like you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. It doesn't matter their opinion about you. You are looking down on people as if you can create a person. Nobody is useless. A company came to Nigeria, wanted to sell Bibles. They were doing audition for marketers. Everybody stayed on the queue. And the stammerer joined. And the stammerer said, he can sell Bibles. You have to market. You have to go and talk to people about it. While interviewing him, he was stammering. And this is no me mocking stammerers. They are intelligent people. This is no me. It's just by way of expression. Whatever I do, by way of expression. So they say interview. They say, what, what's your name? My name, 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 my name, name, name. They say, ah, no. You can't do marketing. He said, I can. It was now time for practical. They sluggishly took him because he was insistent on the job. So they gave others two cartons of Bible to go and sell. They gave him one to go and sell. Before one hour, he was back. Sold the Bible. Ah, uh ah. -uh. They say, what's going on? Others could not sell in three days. They gave him. Before two hours, he was back. What is going on? How are you selling? He now told them. He said, I normally go to people when there is rush hour. You know rush hour? Take your children to school or coming back from school. Then he said, he will open his Bible and he will say, God, 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 as, as, as a word for, for, for you in Galatians chapter 2. He said, we are rushing. He said, okay, should, should, should I read it for you or you want to buy it? We will buy it. We will buy it. <laughs> God, 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 God has a word for you in Philippians 1. He gave me a word for you. Should, 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 should I read it or, 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 or you buy it yourself? Oh, how much, how much? Give me two, give me two. Go, 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 go. Nobody is useless, sir. Saw the carton of a Bible. Who are you to reject who God has not rejected? Who are you to tell a person that they are not good enough? For the stone! Matthew 24, 12, Mark 12, 10, the stone that the builders rejected has become the head. Look at this. The second war, should I stop on the war of David? Let me just preach. The second war of David. You want to hear that? You want to hear that? David was carrying too much load liabilities if you read first Samuel, 
21, 22, verse 1. He said, all the family members of David, when they heard. Now, David never departed and escaped to the cave of Abdullah. When his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they came to him. Verse 2, all that were distressed, all that were in debt, all that were discontented. David was carrying too much load. When I did my study, I discovered that the people David was taking care of was 600 families. I'm not saying 600 people. 600 families that when he wakes up, he must be aware if they are eating. He must be aware if they are okay. He must be aware if they are at rest. He must be aware if they are 600. There are some of you looking at me now. Money has passed through your hand. But you can't account for anything because this one collects. That one collects. That one collects. That one collects. One of my sons from America called me. He was crying. He said, Dad, I earn $12,000 in a month. He said, by the end of the month, I have less than 800. My father is calling. My mother is calling. My brothers are calling. My sisters are calling. My cousin said, deep Lord, this too much and the problem is people like that with so much load with so much heaviness and load if you are not careful there is an entitlement mentality and they are never commended because they can't satisfy everybody the walls of David 600 families people think the rich always have not knowing the, the load the rich carry A young man was talking to me, telling me the things that he need and everything. When he was done, I laughed. When he was done, telling me all the things he was going through, what he needs now, did he? I laughed. And I said, can I tell you something? I now told him my own. If a part, not all. Just a part of the load I'm carrying. He just carried his phone. He said, Jesus, Papa, I'm better than you. He said, I'm better. Eh? Serious? I said, <laughs> I was looking at him when he was talking. You are carrying, you are carrying tilapia, you are crying. There are people carrying whales and shark. And they are still breathing well. I, I, am I communicating here? If you are the only rich person in your family, you are poor. If you are the only blessed person in your home, you are stranded. You, you know what David did? When David was carrying those, if you study your Bible, it was among those 600 men that David raised 30 mighty men. The only way to, to reduce your burden is to raise men. That's why you must cry out to God concerning your sisters, your brother, father, raise them. They will keep coming to you and you can't satisfy them. Especially most time, like David, God always go for the ones that are younger. The one that people say, when was he born? And you see what God did. David was carrying so much. Those were the walls that Solomon was talking about. The walls were so much. He was carrying so people that were just there morning till night. If you will eat, it's David. If they will dress up, it's David. If they will be comfortable, it's David. Am I talking to somebody here? And you know, then in Israel, they produce children. They don't bomb Pekin. They produce children. They don't bomb Pekin. They produce. They're, they only stop when heaven shouts, Stop. Just be burning, be burning, be burning, be burning. Am I talking to somebody? <laughs> and that was the wars that David was fighting. Can I tell you the third war David was fighting? The third war David was fighting was the spirit of being paid evil for good. They paid evil for good. Can I stop? Oh, yeah, Bakatasha. I'm, I'm taking too much time. Can I go on? Being paid evil. There are so many of us, we ask ourselves, should I keep doing good? You say, it's like good does not favor you. The people you help are the ones that come against you. The people you support. How do I know? Do you know Saul? Saul. David was like Saul's ADC. When an evil spirit comes upon Saul, it is David, David knew how to connect to the spirit and the right sound to play for the spirit on Saul to disappear. Because there is something between sound and spirit. That is why every true prophetic minister is a worshiper. Nothing opens the keys to accessibility to the voice of God like worship. That is why every worshiper who 
understands the mystery of sound has to connect to the spirit of God. When a song comes from the spirit, it goes to the spirit. When a song comes from the head, it goes to the head. It becomes just melody. But when it comes from the womb, oh, there's something about sound. And when they needed help, Elisha said, bring me a mistral. As the mistral began to play, the hand of God. So David was the man who could play the instrument and take out the devil from Saul. Yet Saul wanted to kill him. You mean I did good for you? I saw you in your element. When spirits came on you and you were running around the palace, you took off your clothes. I saw it. You were stuck naked. I saw it. You were on your down element. I saw it. Now you want to kill. 21 times Saul attempted to kill David. 21 times. 21 times. 21 times. It was David that took the reproach from Israel. When Goliath came, David took away the shame. Is that the kind of person you want to kill? When people will pay you evil for your good. A man called Nabal. Nabal was a man who had a wife. Nabal, David kept his sheep, kept his asses. The man had a crisis. David kept all his camels, preserved it. When the man was out of his crisis, David gave all back to him. And the man was doing well. David sent 10 men, 10 men. He said, go and meet Nabal. I'm talking of 1 Samuel 25. He said, 10 Nabal, I have kept his sheep. I kept this floor. What will he give me? Tell him I sent you. My name is David. And Nabal replied. He told the men, the ten men that came. He said, who is David? Who is David? He said, some young men break away from the mass, their master these days and they give themselves title. Who is David? David was angry. I kept your flock. I kept your sheep. I kept your camel. That you are rich today is because I stood by you. In your days. Now you are asking who is David? David. Now, yeah, rejection, there's, the, the worst form of rejection is denial of identity. That's the worst form of rejection. If somebody says, I'm not giving you, it's different from, I don't know you. It's more hurtful when people act like you don't exist. When they look at you and say, sorry, I can't help you, there's a level of pain. But when they look at you and say, they don't know you. The walls of David. Am, am I communicating right now? The walls of David. Can I tell you another wall David fought? Now I'll give you one more. If I, if I tell you all of them, you will not buy the book. <laughs> if I tell you all of them, you won't buy the book. So I'll give you one more. The fourth wall. Is it fourth or third now? I've given you up to four. Why? Why am I giving you that much? Huh? Okay. Okay, 17 is still okay. I'll give you four. At least the other 17 can market the book. <laughs> and the fourth war of David was internal crisis. Internal crisis. His own son, Absalom, rose up against him. There are women and men, if they tell you what they are going through internally, some people can't go home because their wife is a disaster. Some people, when their husband opens his mouth to talk, the way some men talk, when I hear it, my heart be skip. They will abuse women to their parents. Abuse their mother, abuse their father. When you hear curse, eh? These are curse that, 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 you, you, the way they, are, they extract the curses like as if they are deities. As if it's a deity. When, when the man curse, the woman feel like dying. The man will curse. There are women, when they curse too, is an internal crisis. A man called Ahitophel, he knew everything about David. He knew David's flaws. He knew David's strength. He was the one who called internal crisis. Listen to me. There's something called adversary. Eh? Adversary, people think that some people close to them who are smiling are not their adversary. No. Adversary is any, op any form of opposition. Adversary is someone who sponsors adversity. Now listen. Have you been in a situation, it appears you went through something, and people who you trusted and loved, you heard the things they said about you. And you are sure, yeah. You know what that means? They don't like you, but they can't hurt you because they don't have opportunity to hurt you. Not that they don't want to hurt. So when there is a little crisis, when they open, say, look at what this person said. Look at what he said. So that is supposed to be a friend, but that's an adversary. An adversary is somebody who sees you as an opposition. You have not acted that way. 
You didn't display. They just see you as a, you, you remind them of what their life should be like. They don't know that God never blesses anyone at another person's expense. God never blesses anyone at another man's expense. When God gives you a car, he didn't take a car from your neighbor. When God gives you a wife, he didn't take your brother's wife. When God gives you a child, he didn't take somebody. God never blesses you at another person's expense. So why they envy? The sky is wide enough for two birds to fly without colliding. So why they envy? Why the jealous internal battle? Anywhere you are and you are going through internal crisis, marital crisis, family crisis, internal battles in your home, in your marriage, in your head. Today it comes to an end. Today it comes to an end. Today it comes to an end. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. When believers have come to a point in God knows how, how, how brutal, how evil hearted opposites are. Somebody sees a dream that is negative. Wake up and just say, I just dreamt that. Uh, I saw that they were, they were cutting my head. God forbid bad thing. Really? An evil dream is not a suggestion. It's a satanic intention. An evil dream is not a mere suggestion. It is a revelation of a satanic intention. You see something drastic and deadly, you engage a fast. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. A young boy sent me a message. Huh? He stays in Holland. He sent me a message that I had a dream. And in that dream, I saw, he said what he saw. Something about a train. He was standing on a train, on a rail. And the train just ran him over. He said, God forbid, it's not my portion. I said, engage in the fast. He didn't reply. He came during December. And he said, Dad, I'm on my way. I said, what about that fast? He said, no, that is not me. How can I, what was that? I stand on, on a rail. Am I blind? What will keep me on the rail? He landed away. He came down with his back. He was crossing. I was to a car hit him. Ran him over. He was on the floor. He called me from the hospital. He says, sir, I am in no worry. I am in orthoped. Is it orthoped they call it? orthopedic hospital. They are fixing my bone. I said, what happened? He said, a vehicle ran me. I said, that was the train that you saw. Why did you not engage prayers? An evil dream is not a suggestion. It's the revelation of a satanic intention. Am I talking to somebody here? An evil dream is not a, a nightmare. Is not a suggestion. It is a revelation. And if God reveals it, it's because he wants you to handle it. If God reveals it, it means you can stop it. Anything God shows you by revelation, if you engage warfare, you can lead to his termination. You can terminate anything God has revealed if you handle it well. Am I talking to somebody here? Hey! Rakata Patash. I love the disciples. They were people of war. They carried sword everywhere they went. You know, I told, <laughs> I told somebody, I said, Peter did not cut somebody's ear. No. It was not the ear. Peter targeted the head. The man dodged, so the thing took the ear. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Do you, do you cut people's ear? What are you doing with the ear? You are not following me. The ear was not the target. It was the head. When Peter reached the sword, the man did like this. The... <laughs> no, I, when I interpret Bible, or I read Bible, I read it with the eyes of the spirit. I said, why will he call the ear of Marcus? The Holy, the Holy Ghost said, no. It doesn't need the ear for anything. It was the head. As he released the sword, Chopped up the ears. There is a way to handle. So God gave them the pillar of fire. Because content is respected by carriage. No matter what a person has inside. How you carry yourself is what brings value. 
content is respected by carriage. If your carriage is poor, your content will be disvalued. Am I communicating here? Your carriage. How do you carry yourself? One day, I call, I, some of our sisters in church. <laughs> well, I think because I got busy. We were having a singles meeting. I told all the daughters, I said, stand up. All of you, one by one, walk. Let me see you. They were looking at me. I said, what, what are you looking Walk. I want you to get married. I said, what is this? <laughs> I said, all of you, walk. Brothers too, you come and walk. They said, ah, Papa. I said, shut up. Walk. I'm not your pastor. I'm your father. I don't just see you as people that um, I will pastor. In this life, you must make it. I have, I have a family mentality in, in church operation. That is why I cannot steal from you. I cannot take from you. Because why will I steal what is my own? Your blessing is my blessing. Your lifting is my lifting. So why will I steal what is my... If God blesses you, it's me he has blessed. If you buy cars, you are enjoying. It is me that's enjoying. Because they'll say, my pastor prayed this. So why will I take from you? Some people, people are at the office today, they bring money. I say, how can you come from, to me? You want financial bridge. Keep the money. Ah, God, I'm surprised. I say, surprise, well, wait. After my prayer, walk. If I don't see you here, I'll withdraw the network. <laughs> so I say, walk. I just want to say, what is this? No, they don't marry like this. They don't marry like this. I saw some brothers. I said, this one, <laughs> this one, you joined up here as a bouncer, bouncer. Nobody, would, no, but you can't get a job walking to the office like that. Straighten yourself where? Have some dengerized steps. Dengerized. Walk with authority, with audacity. Even if you have no car, don't tread too fast. Walk like somebody who park car somewhere. You want to marry? Good evening, sir. <laughs> you are not seen now. Good evening, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. God forbid. Not in this church. I, I, I said, not here, not here. If you're a lady, you want to learn how to walk, start wearing high heels. That's the easiest way to learn how to or control your step because it brings out your step. Walk out, walk out well. Don't be all this scattered movement. That's not, the, that's not the spirit of God. The steps of a good man are ordered, not scattered, ordered. People do not understand excellence in work with God. Excellence. Excellence. I was preaching somewhere and they rented the generator. It will go off. It will come on again. They will start praying. They will go around the... Around the generator. More than six times that night. So I called somebody. I said, how much to get a good gen? Told me. I gave him money. The light was okay. We didn't pray anything. They said, ah, sir, today was great. Too. God even took over the generator. I said, I got a good one. This is yes, yes, spiritual people have of thinking that poverty is, 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 is not. I said, that wasn't God. That wasn't God. We rented something good. Something good. Something good. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I communicating here? He said a pillar of fire. So go with them by night and by day. So there are two levels of battle. There is the battle of the night and there's the battle of the day. There's the battle of the night and there's the battle of the day. There's the battle of the conscious and the battle of the subconscious. There's the battle when the eyes are wide awake and even when you are asleep, there's a battle going on. But God has given you available pillars. So there is the battle of the day. But sir, the battle of the day is a battle that is channeled and the battle that is constructed and orchestrated 
via the battles of the night. Hey, there's the battle of the night. That battle of the night. Every dictate, every pronouncement is made in the night. All its concordant elements, all its manifestation, the resultant effect is what you see in the day. It's in the night they say no wedding. It's in the night they say you can't have a child. It's in the night they speak into, into the atmosphere. It's in the night declarations are made. It's the night. That is why he said that you servants of the Lord who stand by night. Sir, you are not to sleep by night. You stand by night. It takes night for spirits to walk. Mortals cannot comprehend the power of the night. Am I talking to somebody here? You must understand the place of prayers at night you must understand the place of night battle the battle of the night is why some people wake up in the morning it was the battle of the night that swallowed up the destinies of the children of job it is the battle of the night that's why some people wake up with strange diseases in their body they wake up with strange afflictions in their body they wake up it was fired at night they just wake up something has grown they wake up something has developed they wake up there's a strange pain somewhere am i talking to somebody here I used to, oh Lord, well, Dr. Kingsley can remember. There's an elderly man we used to preach for in Ibadan in those days. In Ibadan. He had a very, very classy spirit. I must give him that. Excellence. His suit, outstanding. His car, clean. We we'll preach for him. The venue he uses expensive. That was the first one I saw. We we'll put money into the work of God. Classy. He said, "No, no, no. You can't stay in this hotel. Let's get the best for you." So he gave value. I preached in this camp meeting with professor, with minister. But he had a problem with me praying at night. Sometimes we we'll come and stay with me till about eleven. He said he wants to go. Uh, my, my lips are moving. He said, "Sleep, sleep, sleep." You need to rest in the morning, get breakfast, get some eggs, get some bacon. I just I want to fast, fast for what? Sleep. Because he believes everything is word. He loves the word. Ah! He believes you don't have to pray too much. The word has made provision. Sir, thank you for the word. But the letter kill it. And the spirit, uh, we need both the letter to understand how to live, both the spirit to understand how to lead. So one day we had an argument. I was talking always about the Archbishop, the Archbishop Idausa. I was always talking about him. The man got angry with me. He said, I'm your friend, but you must reduce the way you talk about the Archbishop. I said, we have problems. We are going to have problems. I am not a secret disciple. I'm not a secret disciple. I don't hide my connection to graces. I'm not a secret. You know, a secret disciple is no disciple. A person you, a, mean, a grace you try to be careful about that you don't celebrate is a grace that cannot cover you well. A grace you are economical about will be economical about you. I, don't know. I said, no. We argued. We went to Agbo. And the hotel, it was battle. Battle. He said, you have to stop this. I said, listen, you see this program in Agbo? I brought you. I invited you to come and join me. So if you are going to get me offended, you are elderly. He was about 30 years older than me at that time. You are quite elderly. I will respect you, but I will escort you out of Agbo. You go back to Ibadan. For this sake, me, I shouldn't talk about the Archbishop. Our friendship will end. I say because that man affected my life. I don't care whatever you say. I don't care whatever you believe. I don't care whatever you believe. I don't care whatever you say. I don't care anything you believe. I'm not interested. I'm interested in what has affected my life. And the man got angry. That night again, I was praying. Some minutes to one, he knocked on the door. See, these are the kind of things you learned from the Archbishop. Ah! I said, what is your problem? He said, if it's of God, why did he die at that age? Ah! He struck my sensitive spot. He left. I was angry. I must be on, I, I said I was going to talk to him again. Two weeks later, I called his number. His daughter picked. I said, hello, sir. How are you, sir? He said, this is so. I said, ah, where's your dad? She was paused. 
She kept quiet. He said, somebody will call you. I got the phone. One of the elders in the church who I knew, that, that was his right-hand man in the church, that one called me. I said, what's going on now? Why will the daughter pick the phone and say, somebody will call me? He said, you are not aware? I said, no. He said, he has gone to be with the Lord. What happened? He said, he slept at night and died. Prior to that time, we had discussed some issues of engagement, some rules of engagement, that because of some family altars and family patterns. He said, I should forget about it. You know what I'm talking about. You can't convince him. You know, there are people like that. You can't. You can. It's what they say that it stands. And you know when somebody has money more than you, can you talk? Man is too rich. He has everything. He has too much money. If I'm living there, he gives me money in boots. So when they, even me says something, but I don't want to talk too much so that I won't spoil. <laughs> Poverty is a bastard. It's so when he's telling me, this is right. See, if I talk now, I will, <laughs> I will trek back to Edo State. <laughs> so let me just keep quiet. But even at that, I still said, no, this one I don't agree. <laughs> See, you are the only person that will look at me to my face and tell me I'm wrong. I said, sir, it's just one thing, no, I would have said more than this. <laughs> it's just one thing that's making me not talk. I said, because you can't, what, when I know something, you can't tell me that what this thing I know is not true, but because of that, and it's, it's not age, it's not age. It's one thing. It's only me and God that knows that. <laughs> Am I communicating here? You see, the power of the night, there are destinies that have been swallowed up at night. There are, there are marriages that have been consumed at about two days. I make a declaration. What they did in the night, I frustrate it in the light. Oh my God, I don't like your amen. What they did at night, I frustrate it right now. What they did in the night, I spoil it in the light. What they did in the secret, I spoil it in the open. What they did against you, I frustrate it publicly. I cancel it publicly. I spoil it publicly. I destroy it publicly. I shatter it publicly. I spoil it publicly. I break it publicly. I break it publicly. I break it publicly. I frustrate it publicly. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. Grace is on your side. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost power. I break their powers. I scatter their agenda. I frustrate their power. What they did at night, I scatter it. Concerning your children, I scatter it. Concerning your wife, I scatter it. Concerning your job, I scatter it. For your home, I scatter it. Your ministry, I scatter it. Your finance, I scatter it. I say 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 I scatter it. Somebody shot fire. Say in the name of Jesus, what they did at night, I can't hear you. What they did at night against me, against my family, scatter, scatter. Somebody just scatter, 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 scatter. Somebody just fire, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Take your seat. Can I go on? Can I go on? When they killed Peter with the sword, and they saw it pleased the Jews, they fixed a date. When they killed James, they fixed a date to kill Peter. Every date they've prepared. Maybe they said that in 2024, August, or 2024, March, there's something called an evil day. Maybe they have programmed an evil day on your birthday. They have programmed oh, my katasa. Every evil day that has been programmed, that on so and so of day of this year shall this happen. Today, I deprogram that program. evil day the bible says after prophecy has been fulfilled you see don't just carry a prophecy sir carry the prophet the, the, the shunammite woman knew that the husband carried the prophecy but she carried the prophet because even the prophecy can become deficient there can be a crisis tomorrow the prophet is the technician he knows how to fix the prophecy when it's deficient. The problem people have is that they just collect the prophecy and run away. When it happened, the woman came back and said, Gehazi met her when she was climbing. The prophet said, go and ask her if all is well. Is all well? She said, all is well. It was not a lie. Gehazi could not help her. You don't tell your problem to people that cannot help you. Is all well? He said, all is well. Is all well? All is well. He met the man held. He said, did you lie to me? Did you lie to me? How did that child die? The Bible says it fell on a day. It was a programmed day. A man, a man was crying in Lagos, the bridge. Um, a car on the bridge. The car collapsed, broke through the rails, and landed. His son was the one the car landed on. And the man was crying beyond crying. He said, This is not ordinary. I said, What? He said, Apostle has Lagos, big rich. Now my Peking only. He said, They find me, go there. Not be said, There be two. Not three. Only him, Nike, come follow on from bridge. Sir. That's called evil day. A graduate that left his father from Uromi and went to go and look for a bed, green pastures. Car collapse. That was evil day. When evil day comes, when you try to tell a woman not to walk out of her home, she won't listen to you. Because an evil day that has been programmed that what happened to the sister, she happened to her. When evil day comes, a young boy with a great destiny will walk into a place and steal what he doesn't need so they can beat him and ridicule the family. A young boy stole and they brought him to me. I said, bring what you stole. This thing, what will you do with it? He said, nothing. It was his friend's birthday. The thing came. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. There's an evil day. There's a day. Satan programs. I said, okay, keep doing what you are doing. But on this day, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who is in this house tonight. Who has an evil day programmed into their life? Who is watching around the world? Who has an evil day structured into their year? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I enter into those months. I enter into those months. The first week of the month. The of the month, the third week of the month, the fourth week of the month, even the fifth week of some of the month. Every evil day program for anyone. I deprogram the program. I deprogram the program. I 
he programmed the program I program good day I program prosperous day I program favorable day I program great day I program day of excellence day of dignity day of honor day of reward day of favor day of blessings I reprogram the program somebody shout fire yeah, 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 yeah. Take your seat. These people were redeemed. They were Israelites. So by reason of their connectivity to God, by reason of their relationship with the Holy One of Israel, it makes sure they were secured. You see, what works inside you determines what works around you. In mathematics, the figure inside the orbit cannot cancel the figure outside the orbit. That's what we are told in mathematics. Is that true? That the figure inside the orbit cannot cancel the figure outside the orbit. Sir, what is inside cannot be different from what is outside. And God put a wall. Why? When the pillars are with you. He, did, he gave them the pillars, number one. Because the pillars are God's vehicle for judgment. The pillars are God's vehicle. Exodus 14 you read from verse 23, Exodus 14, from verse 23. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's horses, his chariots and horsemen. Go on. Look at this. It came to pass in the morning. Watch. The Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud. Through God passed through from the pillar, God look at them. So, so long you carry the pillar of fire and pillar of cloud, the eyes of God are investigating. You know what I'm saying this? Because very soon some of you shall feel the literal pillar. Some of you, the pillar of fire, pillar of cloud, we overwhelm you. It is God's vehicle. Bring up the scripture. Con well, let's continue. He said, God looked unto the host of the true. The pillar of fire and of cloud and troubled them. Anyone that fire trouble at you, I decree, may they take trouble. If you are in this Ebenezer, I am telling you the truth. Under God, you will suddenly notice that after this encounter, God will trouble your troubles. God will pursue your pursuers. God will terrorize your terrors. God will attack your attackers. God will mock your mockers. God will trouble your trouble. Heaven will trouble your trouble. Heaven will trouble your trouble. God responds to confrontations. Now I want you to know that every genuine coverage will be attempted. Every coverage that is genuine will be attempted. No, there's something about the devil. There's an element and attribute he possesses. He keeps trying. The Bible says he goes about like a lowing, roaring lion, seeking whom he may. Satan has no target in mind. Once you make yourself available, you become a target. Seeking who he may, 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 may. He may. He has no target. He's looking for who lowers down his guards. And he becomes a target. It is God's vehicle for confrontation. We are in a generation where you must understand that God is a vengeance God. He's a God of vengeance. Wickedness proceeding unchallenged is a religious mentality. It's not a spiritual mindset. To allow wickedness to proceed unchallenged, God is the orchestrator of the justice system. God is the orchestrator. That is why the Bible says uh, that God is the judge. Is the orchestrator of the justice system. God hates people to misbehave and not get punished. Just imagine how, how justice conscious he is. There is hell. There is hell. For everyone who orchestrates evil. 
So to think that God pampers witches is a wrong mindset. That somebody who's, who's called himself a herbalist or a witch doctor threatens you, your mouth is shut. You are not a kingdom material. In this community of greatness, we don't keep quiet at evil. Your enemy should not have the last say. Never allow wrong words land around you. Because if they land, they will germinate. As soon as somebody pronounces negativity, before they leave, reply with positivity. When my son was about two years, I didn't tell my wife, she may be hearing this for the first time. I got nine prophecies. Nine. One of the prophecies was from somebody whose prophetic ministry I respect. He said, pray that that boy, that boy celebrates his third birthday. I said, not my son. In the name. He said, calm down now. I said, were you calm when you were saying it? He said, but I saw it. I said, oh, why will you see nonsense? He said, but, I, uh, but it's what I saw. I said, why will you see nonsense? I said, why will you see nonsense? When you start moving around people with suspicious spirit, you start seeing the things you suspect. Why will you see nonsense? He said, but uh, I don't know why you are taking it personal. I said, because my son is personal to me. I said, he will not just see the third. He will see the thirtieth. He will see the hundred. If Jesus tarries, I said, not my son. Yeah, but I didn't tell the mother. She's just hearing this now. Nine! Negativity. Anybody that sees anything that, that is annoying, respond. The Bible says that even if there's a good prophecy, the elders can judge it. The elders can judge it. Someone can come and prophesy rubbish to you. Say, eh? Eh? You see, eh? My mind felt they tell me. Not your head, not your blood. Sir, when I said what I said there, I didn't go to sleep. Oh. I engaged prayers. But I rejected it so that hell will know that for showing that kind of nonsense, you are in trouble. So there's a way you will handle a negative revelation that Satan will be afraid of revealing you to anybody. <laughs> you hear what I said? There's a way you will hand you somebody sees a negative revelation. For that negative revelation, you make sure 500 witches are slaughtered. So any dream again, they make sure it's well packaged. Because the last negative dream, they lost members. There's a way you react to negativity. God looked and God troubled them. In the name of Jesus. By the eyes of God. Anyone that decides to trouble you after now or currently troubles your children. Parents, lift your two hands. Fathers and mothers, I want to make declaration on your children. Everyone who has any child that is giving them a concern May that child become your source of joy. Anyone who has children that are currently a concern to you, Rakapataya, may those children become your source of joy. In the name of Jesus. Let me round up. Let me round up. Are you getting something at all? Are you getting something at all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's tool for judgment. It's a pillar. But if you cross my path, it becomes your caterpillar. It's a pillar. When you cross my path, it becomes your caterpillar. Number two, the pillar of fire and cloud was with them to distinguish them. To make up, it was physical. It was literal. It wasn't something spiritual. People were seeing it. 
So there is a palpable unction. There is a palpable glory. That, that can be an ambience that can be around the person. That when you walk, people feel spirit. When you walk, people feel it. I told you the story of what happened in Lagos in those days where any vehicle can be used for, for transportation. I was going to preach somewhere and what they were using for transport was a B2 car. You know Volkswagen. And Volkswagen is wired that they will open the seat, somebody will go inside, then they will cover this. You know, you remember B2? So I entered the B2 car, the, somebody came down, opened the seat, and while I was sitting, the one here was moving here, the one here, you know the way they do those things, they will shift, they will shift, you sit at the middle. The car has not moved up to five minutes. A lady by the side. Uh, she was shaking. I was wondering what was going on. She, was, she started hitting the driver. The driver was, it was the generation of this police vehicle they call Operation Sweep. You remember Operation Sweep? So they sighted the car. The car was going zigzag on the road and they overtook the car. Said the man should pull over. Pulled over. They said, first, come down. Come down. I said, what is the meaning of this driving? As soon as they opened the door, that person came down with lifted. The lady jumped out, started running. Fire, oh, fire, oh, fire, oh. So they held her. They pursued the elder, brought her back. I said, where's the fire? Where's the fire? So I came down to me. I was looking for. Because when I heard fire, I, I jumped out quick. Looking for. I said, fire, oh, fire, oh. Ah, they brought her. I said, where's the fire? She pointed at me. I said, me, fire. How? As she was coming close, started doing like this. I said, okay. So the, the police officer said, ah, okay, okay. Are you one of those church people? I said, I'm not church people. I'm not church. Somebody's manifesting like you are calling me church person. <laughs> when you are seeing fire, you are calling me church. But there was a, there's a, an awakening inside of me. That I am different from others. Exodus 11 verse 7. He said, God doth make a difference between the Israelites and the Egyptians. I make declaration that after now, there shall be a difference. Who swallowed others will not swallow you. Who stopped others will not stop you. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. If your amen is loudest, you are the one I just spoke to. I make declarations to you today by the force of grace that the God of heaven will distinguish you. You will stand out among your peers in that craft, in that profession. You will stand out. 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 Somebody say, my case is different. You are selling in a shop. Another shop a gutted with fire, not yours. There's a difference. There's the pillar of fire. There's the pillar of cloud. Other children are having crisis, not your children. There's a pillar of fire. They are heavily surrounded. Your children are heavily protected. Your <laughs> See, eh? this generation is only God that will help us. Because there are some things, some nonsense. There, there are some nonsense I see. Eh? A woman sent me a video of a child that was knocked down by a moving truck. The truck ran over the child. And when the truck ran over the child, the child stood up and ran and caught his football. Some of you may have seen the video. The mother brought it to me. I thank God. I was happy. But I asked a question. Who was videoing it? Who had the kind of mind? You did run. You stay close, brought phone. This video, video, phone, phone thing can put people in crisis. I said, sorry, who, video, who covered this thing? Who made the video of this thing? Knock the child. 
the child fell down. I mean, ran the child over. And when the truck ran over, the child stood up and ran and picked the ball. Like, not aware of the magnitude of deliverance. Now, I said to the person, if I was holding a phone and I see this thing, the phone would drop. The phone would drop. You no, know, it's only an intuition now. It's an attack. Like, hey, hey, hey. Somebody could, eh. That's the. <laughs> there are some people that want to go to hell to report, to video. How worms are eating people. Okay, guys. This is, this is hell. That one there is Satan with his horn. This is hell. This is room one. All the wicked politicians, this is where they are. <laughs> the consciousness for show off. There was God made sure for that little child there was a difference it's a crime for what swallows up a sinner to swallow up a saint oh this sickness everywhere not you now not you not you not you, not you. we serve a prayer answering God I'm not joking no I'm telling you what I have seen. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I told the young girl not to come out because of camera. She called off her wedding because she was diagnosed with cancer. And doctor gave her three months to live. I was walking out last night and she whispered to my ear, I laid and commanded the cancer to dry up. Went for the test today, no trace of cancer. I said to her, he said, that, I said, no, 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 no. You said your man is watching. His family are watching. Even though you are healed, you put fear in them. Keep your healing. I said, I'm not yet to, I'm not yet to endorse the healing anointing on my life. Even sickness, no, I'm anointed. Yes, sir. I said, so don't worry. I said, don't worry. I said, sir, it's a crime. It dies. So if there's anything that looks like the devil around your life, ma. Sir, I am telling you all, it dies tonight. It dies tonight. It dies tonight. In the name of Jesus. Please, I have two other points, but I can't share it. I want to pray. Rise up. I have two other points, but I want to pray. I want to pray. Are you, are you blessed at all for something? I say, are you blessed at all? Begin to thank him for the word. 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 I want us to pray. Thank him for the information. Thank him for the revelation. Thank you for the word. Thank him for the word. I want us to... Psalm chapter 3, 1 to verse 5. I want us to pray. Can we look at the screen and read it loud and clear? One to go. Lord, how are they increased that trouble? Many are they that rise up against. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Number 3. But thou, O Lord, art the sheet for me. The glory and the lifter. Verse 4. I cried unto the Lord. My voice. Head me out of his holy. I laid me and to sleep. I awake. And the Lord sustained me. Now. If you read verse 5. You will get something. I lay me down to sleep. I slept. And awake. Why? So between the sleeping and the waking, there were contests. I'm not sure you understand me. 
the Lord sustained because between when I went to sleep and when I awake, there was a battle. I lay down, I lay me down to sleep down and slept. I awake. You can see inverted comma there. He said, Four. The reason why I slept and woke up. You didn't get that? Four. Now, why did I bring up the scripture? It's because Satan is fighting you at every point, even to sleep against a crime. For you to wake up is a crime. I'm going to make declarations. We're going to pray. I'm telling you. We're going to pick up two of the walls of David. Just two. Just two. Two of the walls of David. Two. There are so many of you, in your, at this your young age, you are carrying load. I'm telling the truth. There are some of you hearing the sound of my voice now. If not for family load, you would have bought land. You would have built house. You would have bought car. The load! <laughs> you understand. And if you say you don't have, it's a problem. You're, you're, you're living a good life, it's a crisis. We are in a generation that for you to live good is a problem. You have car, you cannot drive. You have clothes, you cannot wear. Because you say, I don't have, uh, uh, you don't want to help me. I wish I was talking to somebody. Do I have to say this? There are people going through what they are going through. Who are compromising their faith. Because they can't stand to see their siblings stay at home. They can't stand to see their younger ones not go to school. They can't stand to see their mother tattered. Their brothers not eating. They can't stand. They can't. So they do things they are not even supposed to do. So they can take care. Those of you that live in Europe know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know how many people in this church have stopped from traveling? Papa, I got a job. I'm going to say, you're not going anywhere. If your mother is putting pressure on you, let your mother go and walk. I know you are going to prostitution. I know you are. Sir, there are no jobs abroad. Don't let anybody lie to you. It's not what you are thinking. All this employment visa, employment visa, employment visa, you land there, your eyes will clear. Some of you know the year word. That, that's the problem many people have. When you talk, it's like, uh, uh, let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me reach there first. When people are talking, I say there's something you are doing, you are doing with, you are doing with them. You think if it's good there, you think I wouldn't want you to run there. Won't you send me offering? Won't you support the church? Our church is there. All this strategy, oh, there's a job, there's a job, wait, there's a job, there's a job. All these agents, 80% of them are liars. By the time you land them, bang, you are clear, you start walking on the street. You wake up on the street. You go to one car, you take picture. You post it. They are clapping for you, but you are dying. Can I say this to you? We're going to cry to God. Lift up my heavy burdens. Oh Lord, arise. Lift up my heavy burdens. Sir, there is one open door that heaven will give you. And anything that looks like load will be lifted up. Lift up my heavy burdens. The yoke of Christ is easy and his burden is light. What you are carrying that is depressing you is not of God. Lord, arise! Lift up my everybody. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Loud and clear. My father, my father. 
louder than that in the name of jesus as i begin to pray oh lord arise lift up my heaven bodies open your mouth and fire prayers now now this second prayer is our main prayer and as we take this prayer i want you when i say fire prayer as you are praying you are clapping your hands i like what the bible says in exodus 13 from verse 24 it says, and the lord look through the pillar verse 24 look through the pillar on the host of the egyptians if you even read Exodus 14, 19, you know that this is God's tool for judgment. You will lift up your right hand. And you will tell the Lord, everyone that troubles my life, troubles my family, Lord, look through the pillar of fire and cloud and reply them. Everyone that troubles my life, troubles my family say my father my father, my father, my father. shout it loud and clear father, in the name of jesus as i begin to pray everyone that troubles my life and family lord look through the pillar of cloud and fire and reply them Ra <laughs> <laughs> 
Rada <laughs>
Let your hands be lifted as a sign of surrender. Wherever you are right in this ground or around the world, if you are connected to this service, lift your hands as a sign of surrender. I'm going to ask the Lord for an anointing that lifts up burdens. An anointing that will take that load, that heaviness from you. The anointing that will come on you and God will raise a helper. That will undo your heavy burdens. That will make life easier for you. Mm -hmm. Say, Father, Father I, surrender all. I surrender all. My will, my, will. my emotions, my desires, my desires. At, your feet. at your feet. I have heard your word. I have, I have prayed. As my hands are lifted, the anointing for helpers that makes life easy. Come on me. Come on me. Come on me. Now. 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 Father, wherever that girl is standing, that woman, that boy, they have done everything on their own without a helper. But as this anointing comes, wherever their helpers are, I trouble their helpers. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the anointing of God come upon you. One! Touch! Holy Ghost, look for them. Find that girl. Find that boy. Find that man. Find that woman. Find that boy. Find that girl. Touch! Wherever that girl is, the anointing that will take you to where God has ordained for you, the anointing that will make you from non-entity to some entity, from mediocrity to celebrity, the anointing that will make you celebrated, your voice heard, I impact you with it now. Let it come, let it come, let it come. Let it come. Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up, somebody up. 
Let the glory of God. Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up. Let the glory, let the glory. Somebody up. There are 20 young men. There are 20 young men. Prophetic mantle. From my head, I throw it now. Let 20... Touch! Help them. Help them. Power. Raka coca coca. Raka coca paradis. Iparaka to to kapatada da kata. Those who are watching and connected right now, there are some people who are watching and connected from wherever they are. The power of God is going to fall upon you. The anointing is coming upon you. Those of you watching via television and our satellite churches at the count of three, let the glory of God fall upon them. Wherever they are, wherever they are, wherever they are, at the count of one, two, three, pack. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Rekete. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me after your will. Lord, I am waiting. I'm yielded and still. Mold me and make me after your will. Lord, I am waiting. Yielded and still. Holy Ghost, make me your raw material. Refine me to be used for your beauty, just for you and for you. Holy Ghost, make me your raw material. Refine me to be used for your beauty and for you. Holy Ghost. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Yeah, Hear my heart cry. cry, Holy Ghost. Just for you to be more like, like you. you. The Holy Ghost is sitting on people right now. Ushers, clear the eyes for me. The Holy Ghost is here. Yeah. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, Hear my, my heart cry, cry Holy Ghost. Just for you, more, of more you. like you is all I pray. This is my heart cry. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Yeah, my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Just for you to be more like you is all I pray. This is my heart cry. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Yeah, my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Yeah, my heart cry, Holy Ghost. To be more like you. To be more like you. Is all. This is my heart cry. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Yeah, my heart cry, Jesus. Jesus, leave him, leave him. You, to be more, more like you. It's all I pray. The Lord is marking people. He's marking people. This is my heart, cry, Holy Ghost. God is marking people. Give my heart, cry, God is marking people. Holy Ghost. God is touching people. Just like you. To be more like you. It's all this is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Hear my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Just for you to be more like you. It's all I pray. 
This is my heart's cry, Holy Ghost. This is my heart's cry, Holy Ghost. Hear my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Just like you, to be more like you. It's all I pray. On my knees, daily will I pray. Just like you, more of you, Holy Ghost. On my knees daily will I pray. From my heart daily will I pant. All in this world means nothing to me. Lord, your face is all that I seek. To be more like you, just like you. Holy Ghost. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You know, when you put your hand, you put your life in the hand of the Holy Ghost, there are no restrictions, just as I am. That's what a raw material is, just as I am. Then do the refining, do the processing. Many people come to God already refined in their mind. That is why they have resistance. They have things they won't let him touch. There are aspects and departments of their life they will not let him alter. But when you come refined, you come unrefined. Your will is at the altar. Your desires, your pursuit. I pray for you. Ayala. Thank you, Lord. There are people under the sound of my voice. This day, the Lord shall raise up people in your family to lift your burdens. Not just you. Saviors shall arise from Zion. In the name of Jesus. The help will come from unexpected quarters. Where you never thought help would come from. Where you were not expecting help. May help come. May help come. May help come. May help come. Thank you, Father. Please, nobody sitting. I want us to pray. Someone, you are taking care of children, two children. These are not your biological children. You are married. It's like former marriage like children of an ex-husband i don't know how to explain that these children just love you even after you left that marriage they still stay with you of an ex-husband your name is ego ego Holy Ghost, make me a raw material. Refine me to be used for your beauty. Why is your hand on your head? Why is your hand on your head? <laughs> Why is your hand on your head? Just for you. Oh. 
Lady. God will do something in your life. Are you here alone? Are you here alone? I'm with my elder sister. Elder sister, where and are you? Elizabeth. Her name is what? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. What is prayer? Prayer, yes, sir. Who is prayer? She's the prayer too. That's her native name? Yes, sir. She's. This is my heart cry. Bread. What is bread? Bread. Are you selling bread? I have a bakery, but the bakery is closed now. The bakery is closed. Yes, sir. So why, why are you holding the nylon now? I There's so if, if oh, as a point of oh. Yes, sir. I'm seeing bread. <laughs> Pray bread. Pray Jonah's bread. So this is your bakery. It's my bakery. God is going to arise. Ma, this bakery will bounce back. But please. The Lord said, tell her to change the venue, the location. You had a bakery. For two years now, not functioning because something happened. Because I saw the machines spoiling, machines breaking down, machines having problems. All right? I saw workers walking away because these workers are walking, are trying to bake bread, they're trying to turn things, and their hand enter machine. Yes, sir. Their, their fingernails were cutting, cutting, cutting. Yes, their fingernails. Sir. And people start saying that there's something you are using those people to do. Yes, sir. I'm innocent. That they, eh? I'm innocent. I don't Of course, know. you are innocent. You didn't do anything. It's an attack on the bakery. Yeah. So people stop buying bread. Say, don't go there. Don't go there. She's using something. And you are not using anything. There's nothing you did. You don't know why that is happening to you. Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. Because even if you want to rise now, you want to start. Now the machines are bad. I want to pray with you. Change the location. The attack on the machine is not, is not a technical problem. It's not technical. It's a spiritual. Just stop working. They check, check. They can't see what is wrong with it. The way they stop, that's how they will start. And God will begin to... Thank you, Father. Your time has come. Let the God will answer you and give you what is your own. You are a good woman. You have a good heart. So God is going to give you what is your own. What you can call your own. And whatever you are, God will make you happy. You have cried for too long. All those secret tears, heaven will wipe them away. You lock your door. You are crying. You are crying. You are crying. You are weeping. You are ashamed. This is the year. Where controversy will cease. There's someone calling Manuel. Somebody gave you a shirt to wear, and that shirt initiated you into a cult. If you are sitting down, I catch you. A conjok, a conjok. There's a woman who is carrying an overdue pregnancy. Can I see you? There's a woman, I saw that this afternoon. You are carrying an overdue pregnancy. Is it you? You are the one that wore the shirt? Come. There's a woman I saw that, when I was praying the afternoon, I saw somebody... There was a baby in the womb that's been there for a long time. 
Is that the woman? Is that the woman? Come. How long? Rebecca, find out how long. Thirty-eight of this month will be three years. Three years. Yes, Where are you from? Come. I'll give you the shirt. A friend of yours. And you wore it. And after you wore it, what happened? You find yourself where? In Saudi Arabia. In South, Saudi Arabia? Yes. What else? Since then, I started sawing myself in my dreamland trying to kill my father. Trying to kill your father. Uh, he said he was given a shirt to wear by his friend. And as he wore the shirt, he found himself in Saudi Arabia. Without visa. The spirit world is real. So how does somebody get a shirt? His friend gives him a shirt. As he wears the shirt, he travels. He didn't visit any embassy, no custom checks. No immigration checks. Landed Saudi. Listen to me. There are places you enter and something is affected. When the wise men entered into Herod's house, the star disappeared. When you enter a long location, your glory is tempered with. A pastor was given a bus. B-U-S, bus. Boss, what be boss? Bess. How do, how do you pronounce it? Bess. Boss. I can't twist my tongue for anything. I beg. And I was jumping. Christmas, Christmas gift, giving boss, rejoicing. They used it, put some youths, and they were going somewhere. They had an accident. All the youths died. Because the man who gave the bus was a politician. He was renewing his altar. But the pastor was jumping without sensitivity. May you hear God. Only do you know this, even this Ebenezer, there are people I invited. When I went back to pray, the Lord said, who sent you? I had to write to them, say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't come. What happened? I said, nothing. The Lord said, who sent you? When you feel you have, you have contact, you have, um, you have to call your people. The Lord said, who sent you? No. There are things that will be done in the realm of the spirit that you don't have to, you don't have to corrupt. You can be secured. Those around you can be secured, but there are people that are exposed. Such transactions. Anything the enemy wants to pass through to penetrate your household, either a gift, either friends, pass through things on your children. I decree that those doors are closed. Those entrance doors are closed. Wait, 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 wait.
Wait, can I show you a revelation? Can I show you a revelation? Huh? How many of, are you not surprised? God said to them, put blood at the lintel of the door. Anything that, that penetrates a man passes through the door. Why blood? The angel of death goes for blood. So if he sees that blood, he would think that something has already happened in that house. So when he meets blood, say, oh, okay, okay, this one. This one has been, not knowing that it is heaven securing. He said, when he's, I see the blood, I pass over. Anyone that has not the blood. So the blood of Jesus is your ransom. And your escape from the onslaught of wickedness. You are protected. Please, if you are here, you have a brother called Michael. You have a sister called Esther. You have another person called Inkechi. You are one person I'm talking to. You have another person called Obina. I repeat, you have somebody called Esther. You have somebody called Michael. You have somebody called Obina. You have somebody called in Inkechi. You are one person. You are one person. All these people I'm talking about are your siblings. Is it you? Eh? Who is Esther? My younger sister. Who is Michael? My younger brother. Who is Obina? My our last one. Who is Inkechi? My elder sister. Come here. You are beautiful beyond description and you so marvelous for words. Where did you travel to? You go to Libya? Did you stay in Libya? Why? What did you do there? I have no choice where to go. You have no choice. So you went to Libya? Tripoli? Huh? Tripoli? Yes, sir. Take my handkerchief. Come. Do you know I'm giving this handkerchief? Should I tell you why? Should I tell you why? Yes, sir. There's something that happened to you. Yes, sir. That you can't tell anybody. Yes, sir. Because it's something that you are not happy. Yes, sir. You are shocked that's happened. Yes, sir. And it's like a sentence. Yes, sir. There's nothing you can do. Yes, sir. Take this. You put it on your head. And God is going to heal. Touch! Pick her up. Pick it up. I decree in the name of Jesus. Let mercy, 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 mercy. Touch! She's free. If you are sick in your body, before I continue, can I pray for you? Please, when I am done, everybody will sit down. Because there's something we want to do. Okay? Don't be in a hurry. This is the last day. Don't be in a hurry. But I want to pray for those who are sick in their body. Maybe you are blind, deaf, dumb. A young boy was, I was going out. He carried a woman. Um, wait, wait now, wait. The boy met me outside, carried the woman and said, the woman is blind. The woman is paralyzed. I said, in the evening. So, there are cases like that I'm sure that are here. So, if you came with somebody who cannot walk, who is blind or anything, Place your hand on that person's leg and eyes where they need a miracle. As I'm praying now, Jesus will take over. Place your left hand where the problem is and raise your right hand. The right hand of God is power. I command, you pregnant lady, just hold on, I'm coming to you. The pregnant lady for three years, hold on. I command, you devil of infirmity, Sickness, disease, blindness, deafness, dumbness, paralysis, stroke, sugar diabetes, cancer, myopia, hypermetropia, glaucoma, cataract, 
Asthmatism. Out. Total blindness. Out. Partial blindness. Out. Tube blockage. Out. Heat in the womb. Out. Low sperm count. Out. Fibroid. Out. Pelvic inflammatory disease. Out. Ovarian cyst. Out. Skin infection. Out. Deaf and dumb spirit. Out. Paralysis of the upper limb. Out. Lower limbs. Out. Stroke. Out. Asthma. Out. Kidney trouble. Out. Liver sclerosis. Out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Spinal cord disorder. Out. Bone condition. Out. Be healed. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's someone called Amaka. You have a problem with your spine. God says that that pain and attack on your spine is gone. Ruth, something happened to your knees, both knees. Jesus has healed you. I command blind eyes, open now in the name of Jesus. As I call the name of Jesus, your healing begins. In the name of Jesus. 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 Begin to wave your hands and celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Celebrate the Lamb of God. Ancient of days. Faithful God. Begin to wave your hands. Please, examine yourself if you need to do so right now. If you need to do so, examine yourself. That devil is a liar. That healing you have received from God stays. That healing you have received from God stays. Something just happened. Yeah, I can see people exercising themselves. Something just happened. You are, you are feeling healed. You feel something happened to you right now. Can I see your hand? So many. Can I something happened to you? Something happened. Can I see your hand? Something just happened. I'm going to count to four. Run here. Let me lay my hand on you. Your healing is permanent. Something just happened to you. Can I see your hand? Can I see? Can I, from all over the place. Come. Come. One. Come this way. Two. When I count to four, you stop coming out. Three. Jesu Nazuela Cavari. Kaliba Kala di Pizza Luna. Iyo yo Cavari. Iyo Cavari. Jesu Nazuela. Jesu Nazuela Cavari. Kaliba. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Yes, so Nazila. Kaliba Kala di Bisaluna. Kaliba Kala di Kisaruna. Iyo yo kavari. Iyo kavari. Yo 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 wakaka. Ina merimu. Yo 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 yo.
Surprised and excited that immediately you prayed, the power of God hit him and he began to move his hand he up and down to the glory of God. He had stroke. He has stroke. Sir. Move your hand now. Ah, huh? use the hand now. Come. He's running. You have stroke. For how long? Sir, a month now. Where are you from? I'm from Ehor. Ehor, Ehor. Ehor. This and that stroke. What do you do? You're an evangelist. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hold him. You are totally healed. Clap your hands for Jesus. Seven years, this woman said her left hand was lifeless for seven years. While you were ministering, the power of God came upon her and life entered the hand. Come. She's free now to the glory of God. She can and do what she could too. not do with the hand before. Come. Clap your hands. Why are you touching your head? You say that again? Scrawling. Something was crawling on your head. Yes. And I cannot, that is, this is my hand, I can't raise it because of the BP. So today, as we were praying, the body was lifted. My body was lifted. The head, I cannot feel anything again. That is, I'll be crawling, moving, even in my ear, as if it were to block my ear. So everything just went up. Did you hear what she said? Did you hear what she said? You didn't hear. God bless you. She said something was crawling around her head. Her ears. It's like she wants to run mad. But we're praying now. The thing just took off. And left. You are free. In Jesus name. <laughs> Papa, you gave a word that there's a certain Amaka who has an issue with the spine. Papa, this is the Amaka who has an issue with her spine for 12 years. 12 she, years. 12 years, Papa. She couldn't bend. She couldn't stand effectively. At the instance of the world, the power of God came upon her. Papa, the lady who had issue with the spine for 12 years can bend, can stand upright, can move effectively because of the power of God. Clap totally. your hands for Jesus. Come. Is this how you clap your hands? Father, she is totally healed and it will never return again. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands one more time. Papa, sir, there's a miracle here. This is really amazing. Mama said, right now she's even sweating. The glory of she's, God is she's on her. She's overwhelmed. Papa, sir, she could not even stand like she was afflicted last year. She said it's the husband that has been helping, carrying her. Look at her, daddy. She, she could not do this. Come. She said they've been carrying her. Mama, come. She's healed now by the power of God. Clap your hands. Jesus. The glory. Your name is greater than all are you? Oh, oh, Osha, calm down. Who, who is that? That's the husband, daddy. Husband. The woman confirmed it. That is the husband that has been carrying, carrying her. So you have been the one carrying her about for how long? Two years. Power of God perfect her healing. Thank you for him too. Thank you too. Clap your hands, everybody. Your name is greater than all. What happened to you? Papa, this is a miracle. This man is a pastor from Ibilo. He said five years ago, he had a dream and saw that a tree, a palm tree grew on his head. 
And for that five years, for five years, he's been carrying the a palm tree. Yes, grew on, on his, his head. head. Yes, sir. And it, physically, when he wake up in the morning, it, the, it starts feeling heaviness of the head. But when he sleep in the night, it's the chill will appear. So that is how he's been living for five years. Why we are ministering now? He says something. In fact, a body lifted from him, and the heavy head. It has gone back to hell. It's free now. It has gone God. back to hell. It has gone back to hell. Now you go fulfill your destiny. You're the pastor. You're the pastor. Lift your hands. Father, let the anointing of God come upon his life. Fulfill your destiny and the call of God for your life. Pick him up. Fulfill. Fulfill your destiny. Be a blessing to lives. Be a blessing to nations. That the land of Ibilo will begin to hear God's voice. The mercy of God will speak for you. And God will... What do you want to do? Want to kneel down? You saw me five years ago in your dream. That you were buried in your father's house. And the Lord used my face to appear and called you out of the grave. That was a dream, a revelation. In that revelation, when you came out, I said, come. You came close. And I said, answer these questions. He said, you asked me three things. And I said, no. What did I ask you? I, I could not remember when I woke up. I asked you if you have three things. Yes. And that's the three things. The Lord said there was a question in that dream. And there are impartations of those things that you need to have. Is there yesterday was what? I think it was yesterday is my first day I came here. Physically. Physically. But we have been working with me in the realm of the spirit. Since then, my life will be get me. So, on the first of August last year, on one, you appear that midnight. On one means, oh, is it first of August on one? You should understand that. Yeah. So you appear, the way you dress. That is how I saw you. You came out yesterday. I was so amazing, and and you told me that. What is that? I said, this is how I'm being kneeling down for you in the realm of the spirit. Let me. I'm trying to tell him to stand. He said, no. In the realm of the spirit, I always kneel down for you. So, I'm not. Ah, thank you, Father. Fulfill your destiny. Look at me. This is going to be strange, what I'll tell you. I said, what I'll tell you next is going to be strange. Three major things you must focus on. The anointing of God upon your life, fruit of the womb, fruit of the womb. When you pray for anyone for fruit of the womb, it's going to happen speedily. I'm telling you what you should focus on. Not everybody is called into everything. There are people called into certain graces. Altars, pulling down altars, is a grace that the Lord has given to you. Pick him up. And also, the prophetic mantle. Touch. 
Congratulations. Papa, sir, a few years ago, a few years ago, this man from Delta State said he's from Delta State. He had a dislocation some years back. And now there's something he said he couldn't do. Look at this, daddy. He couldn't do this for five years now. He's healed now by and, the power of God. And he's smiling. Clap your hands for the Lord. Ten years arthritis had been healed by the power of God. She could not walk and they registered her at Jehovah the daughter. Now she can walk to the glory of God. Papa, you gave a word that God is healing someone with having issues with the knee. Papa, this woman has been plagued with arthritis for 10 years. At the instance of the world, the power of God came upon her. She is totally healed and free by the power of God. Bring, bring mama, bring mama. Mommy. The blind see. The anointing of God and the power of God is upon you. Papa, Papa, yes. Papa, she couldn't Aqua. bend in Jesus on her left rib. Can we join them? Is your name. 